welcome back to another video today as you guys see i got my art at on we're at the property again and um we're just going to give you guys a run through of this beautiful home that we're building from scratch i want to walk through and give you guys you know updates on what we have on the first floor we're going to see if we can go on the second floor i'm not quite sure because the last time we came here we didn't have a roof no we do have roofing so that's a good thing i think the process is you know moving a little bit faster and the great thing about that is the roof is on because guess what it's almost hurricane season but we're gonna go inside i'm gonna show you guys around you guys might not get to see or understand but then you'll know on the first level what is gonna be on the first level so come along with me and while we're walking make sure you guys like the video Make sure you subscribe, give us a thumbs up, comment, and tell us if you're happy for us, because we're happy. You know, we're blessed, we're building a home, and it's a wonderful feeling. So we're gonna go inside, and when you guys walk, we're gonna enter from what we call the veranda, but it's not a veranda, it's more like the, what, what's it called? Poor, uh, uh, porch, I don't even know, I must have care. It's the lanai. Is it lanai or the veranda or the porch or whatever you want to call it? So, all right, guys. So we're on the lanai or veranda, porch, whatever you want to call it. I'm happy that we have this. We can chill outside. We can always come out here with the kids. You know, just watch the view of the community, our neighbors, all of that. So I'm happy that we do have this. And this floor plan comes with it. Not all floor plan comes with a lanai or veranda if you guys look we have a window is this a window yes we do have a window right here which is beautiful because this window leads you can see through the beautiful um eye ceilings as we enter the home and if you guys look we're gonna have a double door so that's another thing our door is gonna be so big and it's gonna be double door when you enter the home from the lanai, the first thing you step in is the foyer. You said that right, right? Yeah. You're gonna step inside the foyer area. And as soon as you reach in the foyer area, if you look to the right side, we have um, we have a area right here. And I already know what I want for here. You know, I, I, I know what I do want from here, here already. If you look up, we do have tall ceilings, so this is beautiful. And if you come in, come in and turn around. If you look, there's two big windows at, at the top, which we do have tall ceilings for that. So that means we're gonna have a big chandelier hanging from the ceiling coming down because of the tall ceilings. I love that. So this is basically like the entrance way. So we can probably do an entrance table there or you know because we're gonna have the stairs as you guys see the stairs is right here and then there's tall ceilings from the stairs go right up until we reach um, the second floor of the home which is beautiful then you can look up you can stay on the second floor and look down to the foyer which is the the entrance way and i love that if you guys come straight ahead right here and look to the right my right there's a door this area will be a door under the stairway and we will be do, using this for storage a lot of storage i can probably put decorations for seasonal decorations in here you know even extra food water whatever but this is extra storage right here so there will be a door right here and then as you come in there is the open floor plan. This is our formal living room. I'm gonna call it, this area is where we're gonna have guests. Because on the second floor, we'll have the family room. So this area will be our formal living room where it will be set and for visitors, you guys can come see the beautiful um, area and just, you know, kind of take time, sit down. <laughs> But this is that right here, and it is an open, like I said guys, everything is just airy, I love it, the view, come all the way back in this area, 
you guys will see that we have our, this is where our, um, what do you call it? Our, our glass door will be, so this leads you back to the outside of the house, which is beautiful, so there's just light from that way coming all the way in. If you guys step over, if you guys step over to this side right here, this will be your kitchen. And the kitchen do have an open floor plan, which the island will be here, as you guys can see, the piping. So we'll definitely, the piping, <laughs> we'll definitely have the, <laughs> the, what you call it, the island right here, which I love. I love an open floor plan. Everything is airy. There's windows, doors, glasses, everything. So definitely right here will be um, the kitchen area, which is going to be, yeah, it's a good size. I can see that. If you step over to this side, we have a walk-in pantry right here where the door is. This will be your walk-in pantry. So we have a little space you can step in once we put the shelves in you know we can step into the pantry um i it's think small, I, it's it's a little bit small but it's workable that's letting me know that listen you don't need to buy so much food so it's it's still a walk-in closet um pantry which is perfectly fine right here i guess there is an area i'm not sure if we're gonna do cupboards right here but yeah all right guys, so like I said, in the kitchen area with the pantry, it's a little small walk-in pantry. We're gonna have to learn how to minimize its spending, buying a lot of food because this is our home. The pantry space is not, it's a walk-in pantry, but it's not that big. And for the area that I showed you guys at the front, we can do storage of maybe water and stuff that we buy in bulk there. So everything is right. This area right here, there is, there can be like storage, extra cabin net right here. I'm not sure if we're gonna leave it this way or we're gonna put, you know, cabinets right here. It's cabinets, right? Also, with this area, either it's gonna be blank or this could be an extra area for cabinets or the butler's pantry area where we could do our wines and, you know, our little fridge and stuff like that. Stay tuned with all of that. But from the kitchen area, we do have a door right here. And this door leads to the third garage. So this home is a three car garage and they're separated and that's what I like. So this is like a complete storage area because we have two cars. Or it can turn into something because it's very huge. This is like a, this is actually bigger than the guest bedroom. So this area is our third garage. You sure? Yeah. I'm telling you, when you go over there, you're gonna see this is this could be a bedroom and bathroom. I'm gonna show you when we go over there, and then we're gonna show, check the measurements. But this is a single car garage, and I also think it's even bigger than the double car garage no, for not. one car for one car space. You understand? So this area is separated. It's on the other side of the house. The third car garage. We love that, and we use this area so we can use this garage and go in the kitchen so there's a step up boom you reach into the kitchen area and um yeah and basically the room that you can sit only visitors can sit no family members can sit down here because this is going to be the showroom you know because we have an open floor plan so this area is going to be pretty the colors that's going to be in here when you see it you don't want to sit all right, let me see. You guys are gonna come with me. If you got, go on the next side of the kitchen, when you step into this area, this is gonna be your dining area right here. I love this, you know why? I can be eating, watching my neighbors, looking over the lake right there. I love that we have this for our dining area. There's actually two windows right here. If you guys, what do you guys see? There's a window back here and these are huge windows. And then to this part, we have another window. I love that for the dining. Also brings light into the home for the kitchen and the other areas of the home. And we vlog, we do videos. So this is perfect for us um, when vlogging. So yeah, this is our dining area. I think the size is right. Step away from the kitchen. From the kitchen, you come to the side, you know that, hey, this is where we dine. This is where we eat. Yeah, I like it.
but come on with me i'm gonna show you guys the next side of the house so if you guys come if you look over on this side we do have we do have our master bedroom on this side and the guest bedroom which is amazing because we have kids if we have guests sleeping they will be downstairs with us so when they move we here because our room is right next to theirs and our kids will be on the, the uh, second floor which i love that so there's no interruption of guests in the house you know they they're gonna be where we're at we hear them them hear we all of that good stuff <laughs> but anyway on this side let's go in we're gonna start from the master bedroom i want you guys look right here there's an opening there won't be no doors right here because there should be no doors because you're gonna just come right in when you do step we have an open area right here which you know can put a little table a little sideboard something 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 right here will be closed off so this will be your door so when you come open a little come in and then this will be the door to our mask this will be the door to our room which is the master bedroom and if you guys come i'll tell you a little bit more about the master bedroom it's a big bedroom i can say that this is huge than what we have and i love it couple things why i love it look at this window if you guys come and look at this window area we have a huge window um which is not gonna be in our way because our bed will be right here and previous homes that we have two previous homes the windows are where we put our bed so it's best to put the bed on this wall and i have so many great stuff for the wall area with our bed night table all the good stuff that i have planned so i'm super excited that the bed will face this way where there's no windows to affect that i love that we can stay here be in our bed or have a little chair in our room the windows are here the kids are outside playing at the back we can see them and we're on a hill so we, best, we basically can see our neighbors we can see the, the um, lake all of that because we're on on top basically and if we're upstairs we can even see more plans we have for the backyard is you know get some stuff for the kids so we can stay in our room and see all of that and if you step to this side of the master room, there's space right here where we can put something, another space right here where something can go. And if you guys look, this will be the door to our master bathroom. So it's basically, all right guys, as you see, this is a door and this is a door to our bathroom. So if you guys come with me, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the bathroom space, the master bathroom that is. When you guys enter the master bathroom, over this area right here will be your sink. So we have a is and her sink, which we have a lot of space for a sink area in the bathroom and storage. So this will be it. That's a pipe. That's another pipe. If you guys look again, another window. Can you believe it? We have so much windows in this house. And that's what I like. So we do have a windows in our bathroom. So CMR would like to walk around naked in his bathroom. That can't happen no more. Um, and yeah, we do have a tub right here. So we're going to have a tub which we can sit, sip some wine. You know, I'm going with yourself. This is a tub right here, as you guys see. And behind the tub, we have two areas. So we can do his. <laughs> we can do his and her bathroom this is like a spa like bathroom which i think we are going to put mirror because it's mirrorless so what we got you know we been kind of with splash splash so we can use the mirrorless so this is the bathroom and we both can be in it because there's going to be two pipes so he can be on one side and i can be on one side and i love that there's enough space for us to take a shower there's water right here so this is where we're going to, it's a standing shower. So this is the area we'll take a bath. So I love that. There's enough space. You realize how big it is? If you guys look to the left, this is going to be CMR's favorite spot. The toilet area. And it's also, what I love is that it also has a door. It's closed off by itself. 
so I love that so the door close off the toilet CMR can do what he wants in there we don't care and then the side the toilet which is more to the room we have our walk-in closet and this is a big walk-in closet and I love it so we can um, split it off we're gonna have shelves set up the closet real nice big space for a walk-in closet it, 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 it's doing it's giving me a vibe where we can place stuff and the ceilings are tall so once we put cupboards and stuff shelves rather then everything will you know there's more space so this is our closet space and then the closet all right guys this is the closet I want you guys to come with me because we're gonna show you guys the guest bedroom so come on and if you guys realize I'm walking through all the doors I'm not cutting no corners so you you guys will understand where the doors are or the entrance room so come on if you guys look we did take a step and we're back in the foyer area which is the entrance of the home so basically our guests as they enter the home from the lanai there's a big door right here big space huge space and this is the area the guests will have to themselves which also includes our washroom and everything and i love that so when you guys enter through this door right you're gonna come in we're gonna have storage space right here i think we can do a little sideboard right here if we're not doing shelves we can do a sideboard right here you know real decoration and stuff like that and then to the right this is gonna be the powder room half bathroom for guests when they come that separate that guess that's staying but you know when friends come over i want to use the bathroom they'll have access to this bathroom area right here toilet will be here and the piping will be right there so this is our bathroom and then if you guys come with me again and come all the way down this area this will be the guest bedroom did you see the difference with it and the the, the, the garage was modded in even the guest bedroom and the bathroom, the garage is still bigger than it, if you notice. But this is the guest bedroom. They have a window also, I love that. They can, you know, have a little sunlight through their windows. They do have a window. We have a closet for the guests also. This will be the closet area. And then there's an area right here. And when you enter through the guest room and you guys come along, then the guests will have their bathroom they have a standing shower in this area their toilet and their basin right here and cupboard sink whatever to do what they want so they have a complete bathroom to themselves which is absolutely amazing yeah the guests them have about if me feel like mom tell Simon, so listen this is your bedroom for tonight then hey he got that but yeah when we come back now you guys follow with me so from the for, from the entrance way we also before we reach to the guest bedroom we also if we turn right where i said we could add a sideboard or a cupboard and you come all the way down this hallway right here this will be the hallway and then we have our what you call it or where's the name laundry. washroom laundry room we have a laundry room on this area and this is the door so this is the door for the laundry room if you guys come we'll have our laundry we're gonna do cupboards all of that so we have a huge laundry space i love that you know our washer and dryer but hey this is the washroom hopefully we can get a tub inside of here we love that the washroom is downstairs because where we lived previously we had a problem with our washer and flood out and we had to pay so much money for them to come and suck it up so we're happy that our laundry room is on the first floor and this is why we like this plan and this home this build and everything so if you guys so if you step back mm -hmm. and uh, there's also a door from the laundry room which this area is to our garage and um this is the two-car garage 
So basically, this is another entrance on the opposite side of the house. You guys can enter through, or we can enter through rather, with two cars, me and my husband. We have our cars in this garage, and we can enter our home. Most times, you guys know, people enter from their garage, because once they park, they have their garage. So this is the door to the garage. When you enter through, we'll go through. If you look, we have the glass door right here, and we step right out on the patio area, which we have a huge patio. We can do outside kitchen if we want. We can have a dining table if we want. There is a dining area right there. We can see from the patio. We can see our neighbors. We have lake right there. We're on a hill. Our master bedroom is also there. So this house is beautiful. We have, you know, space around the back also, and I love that. It's also covered, so we don't have nothing to worry about. All right, guys, so that's the tour for the first floor downstairs of our home that we're building once the top is finished if you guys look up there's no top we can't walk up there but once the top is finished we're gonna come back and then we are gonna give you guys an update once we go upstairs and show you guys all the rooms that's upstairs i'm excited for that as well but stay tuned until that time i hope you guys like the video i want you guys to leave a comment Tell us what you think about this home so far with, the with um, all the details that I give. Leave a comment and tell us if you're happy for us because we're happy. We're building and this is from scratch, brand new home, new construction. Yeah, the part of family.